The corruption advisor under former President John Dramani Mahama's administration, Daniel Batadan, has passed on. Sources say he died January 1st, 2020 at Mampong in the eastern region. Batadan was a former executive director of the Ghana Integrity Initiative. He was also a representative for Ghana on the AU Advisory Board on Corruption. Mr. Batadan uh, was reassigned from the AU Advisory Board on Corruption uh, resigned, I beg your pardon, from the board citing corruption related issues, uh, lack of accountability. Among others are the Secretariat of the AU. Uh, let's uh, engage someone who worked with him and understands him and knows him pretty well. Vitus Azim is also a former executive director of the Ghana Integrity Initiative. Ms. Azim, uh, thanks very much. I know that this is a very sad one, uh, but you have worked with Mr. Butterdan on uh, several aspects, several areas of the anti-corruption fight. Uh, tell me what your memories of him are. Well, my memories of him, I worked with him on the, the committee that worked on the National Anti-Corruption Action mm. Plan. And uh, we started with over 20 people, and uh, it dwindled down to just about five or six people, including Mr. Batidam. And so his contribution to the development of the action plan were, very, were, were immense mm. and uh, appreciative. Then also, also as uh, director of the APNAC, that is the uh, African Parliamentarian Network Against Corruption, I worked with him sometimes as a resource person for the trainings that he gave to parliamentarians. And one thing that came out that I, I remember vividly was that we went to Kofuridua for two workshops, and there were some parliamentarians that belonged to the two groups and signed to the two groups' workshops and wanted to claim the idea from the two. And Daniel stood up and said, no, he was not ready to pay uh, people who did not, who shared their time between the two because they had already been paid from the other side. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, you know, he had to resign from the the AU Advisory Board on Anti-Corruption, again, on principle. Even when he was appointed as advisor to President Mahama, I joked with him, I said, oh, you are going to defend corruption. He said, look, Vitus, that's not the case. Even the fact that I'm accepting this political position does not mean I'm a politician, although when there are contributions we're all expected to make. So he, he, I think he did what he was supposed to do. He's made his contribution to the anti-corruption fight and to the country at large. And we really miss him. Mm, I, I know you, these memories are personal, and uh, especially you mentioning the uh, National Anti-Corruption Action Plan, working with him on that. Uh, so for, for the benefit of those who may not know him as well as you, uh, you've told us about the memories you have of him, but what's the one thing you will sorely miss him for? Well, he was very bold in condemning corruption, both on radio and television, because as anti-corruption people, we believe in naming and shaming. Mm. And so his boldness in, in, in uh, condemning corruption, I, I think, is something that we cannot forget him about. Mm. And uh, you, you may have, uh, by now, gotten in touch with his family and uh, offered your condolences. Uh, what feedback are you getting from the family? Are there plans for funeral arrangements or anything pretty soon? Uh, I think I cannot speak to that because I've not got into contact with the family. Right. Uh, Vice Azim, we're grateful for your time. Thank you very much. Uh, That's a pretty sad one.